Hey everyone, this is Andrew Ty and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how to transfer the data from an audio CD like this one onto a modern MacBook. So this is a MacBook Air 2020 with the M1 Apple Silicon chip. However, this is going to apply to any modern Mac. So the most important thing to realize is that most of the modern Macintoshes do not have a DVD or CD drive. So the first thing that we're going to need is an external drive. I'm going to leave a link in the description for this particular drive. It is a USB drive. So this one is one that's pretty universal. They use these mini USB sockets and they just have a mini USB cable. This is what we're going to use to actually read the CD data onto the computer. So on the other end of this mini USB cable, we have a standard USB-A. So these are no longer available on most modern Mac computers. So what we're going to need is an adapter in order to fit the USB-C end. So for example, this one is one called the Alen USB-A to USB-C adapter. I'm going to leave a link to this in the description. So all we need to do is to put these together and then this will convert the USB-A to USB-C. So most modern Macs, especially ones that are released past 2017, they only have USB-C ports. So what we can do is we can plug in our USB-A to C adapter and then goes into this USB-C port. And now that's going to be read by the computer. So once the cable is plugged in, we're able to actually open the DVD CD drive itself. So I'm just going to press this button and then the tray is just going to eject. And now what we're going to do is to insert the CD or DVD into the drive itself. Then I'm just going to close it like this. So this drive we have at the moment is simply an audio CD. So I'm going to use the built-in software to open this. So you can see already that the computer has already detected that this is an audio CD and it wants to know if we want to import it. If we did press yes, it's just going to start automatically importing for you. I'm just going to show you how to do it manually in case you missed that at all. So the software that we need on the Mac is called Music. So if we're on the latest version of the operating system, on previous versions of the operating system is called iTunes. So what we do is we open the iTunes or the music application. If you can't find it, you can click on the top right hand corner of the screen and type in the word music. And then it's going to be the first item on your list of applications in Spotlight. So when we have the audio CD plugged in via this external USB drive, it's going to appear in the left sidebar of the music application here. So I can click on here and I can see all of the tracks that are appearing there. So this particular audio CD has got 30 tracks. What I can do at this stage is to rename this. I'm going to call this Spanish CD. And it's basically going to put everything into the album of Spanish CD. And the manual step that we're going to take is to click import CD. So what this is going to do is to convert the audio files into computer files that can be read by your Mac. So I'm going to press import CD now. And it's asking us some questions about what encoder to use. I won't worry too much about this. Just leave it on the default settings and then press OK. You can hear this CD is doing a lot of movement at the moment. Just let that run for a little bit. So you can track the progress here. It's saying that it's importing what track number and then there'll be a green tick next to the track line when it's complete. Let that complete for the entire CD that you're transferring the data from. So now that this process is complete, we can see that all of the tracks have these green ticks on them. So we're now complete in our ripping or encoding of the digital files from the CD onto the computer. So what I can do now is completely disconnect the CD drive. I'm just going to remove that from my Mac and put it to the side. Now without the DVD drive attached, I can now go into the album section of my library and actually play the audio files. So I can double click on this and click on track one and press play here. Berlitz Spanish in 30 days. So that's the introductory track and that's fully on my computer now. So now I can access the audio files whenever I want to. So anyway, I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.